I am uh, standing in my closet and wow, the tip of my nose is cold. It's really, really turned here in Vegas, the weather. We don't have the heat on during the day. We just put it on at night for like a little while while we're sleeping because it does get really chilly. But I think I need to start turning it on during the day. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, my nose is kind of running. <laughs> anyway, I am wearing that J. Crew, that little jacket that they sent me. I'm gonna back up. Sorry, my t-shirt is sticking out underneath. I was just filming wearing this. It's so cute, isn't it? Let me show you up close this tweed. It's a really, really nice fabric. It's fully lined. Let me show you that. It's fully lined. And these aren't even buttons, they're snaps. So it's like really easy, <laughs> really easy on off. You can just tear it open. Yeah, I really like it. It fits really well. This is a size eight. I would say it runs kind of big. I mean, I've lost weight, but I haven't lost that, that much weight, especially like in my bust, like, Stuff in my torso. I, I haven't really lost that much weight. So anyway, I would say if you're normally like a size 10, I would get a size eight. Anyway, I just think it's really cute. I just wanted to show it to you guys. They have a bunch of lady jackets, they're called, on the J. Crew site. I looked. I don't know if they have this exact one. They just sent this to me, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's like out of stock or if they sent me an old style, but they have ones that are very, very similar to this on their site. So anyway, I'll link that down below. But I am standing in my closet right now because, well, two reasons. One, I have to change. I am going to meet a friend for dinner tonight. We are going to hot and juicy crawfish. It is basically like a seafood boil. And I have been thinking about having <laughs> boiled crawfish since I was in LA. So I met Cassie Thorpe, uh, a fellow YouTuber, in LA for the YouTube event. And uh, she's really, really sweet. And we decided to grab dinner one night and everyone kind of came along. It was a lot of fun. And she was like, do you want to do a seafood boil? And I was like, sure. And I hadn't done one in a really, really long time. And when we got there, you know, she got a pound of crawfish and they had soft shell crab on the menu, which I have a weakness for. So I got that. And when uh, Cassie's big bag of crawfish came, I was like, I ordered totally wrong. I should have gotten that. It looked so, so good. So anyway, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And my good friend here that I go, she's like a foodie. She works in the food industry. Um, and she lives here in Vegas. I usually ask her to go to these, you know, kind of off the beaten path kind of places or whatever, because my husband would not go to Hot and Juicy like a seafood boil with me. He's like, definitely not. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to go with my friend uh, here and she's been away. So she's finally back in town. And I was like, do you want to get dinner? Do you feel like going to hot and juicy? And she was like, uh, sure, I guess. So we're doing that tonight. And I have to change because it is a, it can be a messy meal. I mean, they give you a bib, they give you, generally, they give you a bib, they give you gloves, but you can still make quite a mess. So I'm gonna change out of this very lovely lady jacket and put on something much more casual. But before I get changed, I did wanna show you what I ended up getting at Loewe um, for their collaboration with Suna Fujita, which is that Japanese ceramic studio. It's run by a husband and a wife team and they just do these really darling ceramics. Uh, there's a lot of little animals in there and everything. And so they've done this really, really whimsical collaboration with Loewe and I really want to get a handbag, but the two handbags that I saw, they just weren't for me. Um, I'll link to that vlog down below. I'm not gonna repeat myself in case you saw that already, but I'll link to it down below if you're interested. I do take you in store and show you some of the pieces. Um, so I didn't get uh, any of the handbags. They didn't have any of the ready to wear in store just yet, but I did wanna get something from the collection and something that really, I don't know, like signifies the collaboration. So I ended up getting an SLG, which I don't usually, I don't usually buy. I don't usually like treat myself to uh, like a wallet or like a little card case or whatever, but that's what I ended up getting here because like I said, I just wanted something from this collaboration. So, oh, this is the wavy box is really cool. It like opens up like a, like a book. Aw, so here is an illustration of the collaboration. That's the, the mandrake. All this stuff in here. Let's see, little booklet. And let's see if there's any more pictures. Oh yeah. So they have uh, pandas with the bamboo. That's like on a lot of the pieces. The pieces that I thought were the most special looking, at least from what I could see, from what we had in the Loewe store, were the penguins 
and this little swimmer, they had this bag, it was kind of like a crossbody pouch, almost like a phone holder, and it had that like motif on it. And little parts of the penguin were kind of like shiny. Um, the flippers on the swimmer were shiny. It was really, really pretty. It looked like it was watercolor painted. Not to say the pandas weren't special as well because those were kind of like patchworked or whatever. But I was just, yeah, I was really taken by the penguin piece. It was like this light, light blue, um, yeah, like kind of crossbody phone case. And it was just really, really darling. But I don't know, I don't wear that much blue and I don't know, I just kind of passed on that as well. So anyway, let me show you what I did end up getting. So it's this card case with the otter. So the otter with this person, and I think it's a little, is that a little bear? Of course, <laughs> a little bear kind of hanging out on the otter's tummy. Isn't that just adorable? So I liked the yellow. I like non-black wallets, basically. They're just easier to find in a bag. So I did like the yellow, and I never had a card case like this. It has card slots on the outside and this little zip pocket that, that opens like this. I don't know, I really liked it. So I thought, why not? And on the inside of all of these uh, collaboration pieces, there's something a little bit special. So I've got a little painting of a mandrake and it says, I don't know if you can see it. It says Suna in there in blue. Isn't that so cool? I love this otter, <laughs> so cute. All right, now, oh my God, I'm like so excited to like transfer my stuff in here and like really clean out my wallet. <laughs> it's probably one of the most Virgo things I've ever said. So I'm gonna get changed to go out to dinner. I'm gonna put on something that I don't mind getting dirty. I am home from hot and juicy crawfish. <laughs> it was so much fun. There's really just something so satisfying about using your hands to eat, just foregoing any sort of utensils and just digging right in. I got a pound of crawfish and I don't think that was enough. I'm not, I'm, I'm not hungry, but I'm not like super full. Like I could, I could definitely eat <laughs> maybe another pound because uh, there really isn't that much meat on a crawfish I mean it's just like a mini lobster so it's like mainly the tail or whatever and then like the rest of it is just too small anyway it was very good my friend uh she had shrimp and dungeness crab um so that's what she that's what she had and they didn't give us any tools and she was trying to break open the crab legs and stuff and then finally when we were almost done he was like oh do you need um I don't even know what do you whatever you call those, the tool that like cracks open the shells. And she was like, um, too late. <laughs> She's like, I have like two legs left. Uh, but it was fun. It was fun. I think we had, I had a good time. I think she had a good time. Um, anyway, I obviously have my, <laughs> my current body LED mask on. Oh my God, I just caught a glimpse of myself in the viewfinder. It's just so, it's so futuronic, isn't it? I just totally made up that word. Anyway, current body is currently having an amazing Black Friday uh, sale on their site. So everything is 25% off, including this mask. And I have a coupon code for an additional percentage off. The zip device, the micro slash nano current device that I love is also uh, part of this deal. So that's like on top of their Black Friday deal. So it's really, really awesome. Now the zip device, uh, you guys have seen me use that a thousand times. It has like two nodes and it sends off like micro and nano currents. I find that it helps like, how do I describe Like the structure of my face. So I feel like if I need a little bit of a lift, it will do that. If basically I just need my like, 
muscles kind of like tightened up. Um, if I'm feeling a little saggy or puffy, I feel like the zip is great. This LED device I think is amazing for uh, like general anti-aging. So, you know, fine lines and wrinkles, um, skin tone, evenness, just that that like youthful radiance that, that we all start to lose <laughs> the older we get. I find that I really see a difference when I'm lazy and I don't use this mask for a while. But I have been using uh, like LED devices for a while now. And um, I, I have gotten to a pretty decent habit of using it at least, at least I want to say once a week. I really try and shoot for like two or three times a week. I also have like different, more targeted tools. So one, uh, like an eye mask that just goes over my eyes. I have one, which you guys have seen me use. It looks almost like a pacifier, but that's for your lips. That one's great too. And those are for a much shorter amount of time. So this has like a rechargeable battery pack attached to it. So I can walk around with this mask on. Um, I'm not like plugged into a wall directly. And the rechargeable like battery that's kind of just dangling off the cord is you know, it just fits right into my pocket. It's like not a, not a big deal. Um, so I really like using this. And again, this is something, something I've done and talked about on this channel many times, but like I'll do laundry, uh, with this mask on, I'll like fold and put clothes away. I'll like rearrange, um, or clean out like my um, bathroom drawers or whatever. Like whenever I feel like I'm doing just, you know, some like tedious, around the house, sort of like tidying up or whatever, I'll throw this mask on. It's just great for that. And I just don't think there's anything better than an LED mask like this one to just give you an overall more youthful appearance. It really just leaves your skin glowy. And I'm not, I'm not saying that it's going to happen after one use. It will happen. Um, I want to say I use this mask probably every single night when I first started using LED masks. I use it every single night for a couple weeks. And of course, the change is so gradual. And what I did was I was like, well, I don't really see that much of a difference. I stopped using it. And that's when I realized I was like, whoa, wait a second. Like my skin was actually looking really good. And then I started using it again. And I saw the brightness kind of come back to my skin. And I was a complete and total convert at that point. And this was... I don't know, probably like five years ago. So anyway, I highly recommend this mask and I would definitely take advantage of these deals because you know, these at-home tools, they're not inexpensive. And I think, you know, if you want it for the holidays, if you want to gift it to someone who's been eyeing it, now is a really, really great time. So anyway, a big thank you to Current Body for working with me on this portion of the video and of course, you know, providing this LED mask. But yeah, it's just, it's just wonderful. So anyway, I'll have all the details of their Black Friday sale down below in my description box, along with my um, coupon code that you can use on their site. But yeah, it's just a great time to take advantage of these deals. Uh, so it's on this and also that zip device, which you guys know I love. Great for tightening. And I think it's the only at-home device that uses micro and nano current. So it is really, really powerful tool. All right, I think I'm just going to lay back and relax <laughs> until this cycle is over and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, how are you guys? I am just unpacking a box here. I, was, I wasn't sure what this was, but this is a box from, let me hold up here, Grove Collaborative. And I, I don't usually get like homeware, house related stuff uh, in PR. And so I didn't know what Grove Co was and I looked them up and they basically have um, sustainable like home cleaning products. So they just sent me a whole huge box of stuff. Here's a reusable produce bags. Really, really handy. So this comes in a set of six. Oh, there's different sizes. So here's like a small size and medium and large. So there's two of each size. So here's the largest. Oh, this is so cool. So they have a bunch of stuff like, like that. Reusable cleaning bottle. Let's see, hand soap dispenser. You guys know how much I love my hand soap. Um, ooh, wool dryer balls. Do you guys use wool dryer balls? They're really, really cool. Oh, for a lovely natural scent, add three to six drops of your favorite essential oil to wool dryer balls. I never thought about doing that. That's nice. 
What do we have here? A dish soap dispenser. They sent a lot of stuff. Reusable sandwich bags. Oh, these reusable dish and cleaning cloths. I have some of these. They like grow and they soften and then when they dry, they're like these kind of hard, <laughs> these hard things. But yeah, they're, they're super cool. Oh my gosh. And microfiber cleaning cloths. Very, very handy. Oh my gosh, so, there's so much stuff in here. Laundry detergent sheets, auto dissolving. Tough on stains, kind to the planet. Let's see, multi-purpose cleaner concentrates. Oh, interesting. So you put, this is like two one ounce little bottles in here and you pour it into this spray bottle and then you fill it up with water. Oh, neat, okay. And then orange and rosemary. This was lavender and thyme. Stain remover spray. Ooh, this is very exciting to me. Hand soap sheets. Rich lather soft hands, 40 washes. What am I looking at? Wash up everywhere without the waste. Grove Co. hand soap sheets have a rich creamy lather that leaves hands feeling clean and soft, formulated with 100% natural fragrance and free of parabens, phthalates, phosphates, and dyes. Use dry hands to pick up one sheet, tear along the perforated line for a single wash, or use the full sheet for additional lather, wet hands and the sheet, then wash hands as usual. How interesting. So it's just instead of hand soap. This is great for travel. I mean, you still need water, but that's very, very handy. Okay, hydrating hand soap. This is the lavender blossom and thyme. The orange and rosemary. Glass straws. Oh, wow. Set before with a straw cleaner. Ditch plastic straws. Nice. Well, I'm down for glass straws. I just don't... I just don't like those paper straws. I'll use them. If that's an option, I'll use them. It's fine. But they like stick to my lips. <laughs> they do weird things. Anyway, oh, this is so cool. Wow, wow. Thank you so much, Grove Co. Grove.com. Anyway, I'll link them down below if you're interested in some sustainable household cleaning supplies. And speaking of unusual PR, I got these two very, very heavy boxes. I had no idea what they were. And when I opened them up, I realized there were two cases of poppy soda. They sent me all of these different flavors. And so I started trying them all. And well, I haven't gotten to all of them, but I've tried the classic cola, I've tried the Doc Pop, which is like Dr. Pepper. Um, they're both good, but they're kind of like, I don't know, do you remember when you first started drinking like diet soda? It just tasted weird and you eventually get used to it and now you prefer it. That's what, like, <laughs> that's what these taste like because they have a mixture of cane sugar, so real sugar, and then stevia, I mean, which is also real, but a different type of sweetener. Um, and I still haven't really gotten used to stevia, but I think the organic cane sugar in here just kind of takes the edge off of that. Um, the strawberry lemon is actually very, very good. And yeah, there's orange, raspberry. There's so many cool flavors. And Classic Cola and Doc Pop, I think, are the only two with caffeine, from what I could tell. Some of the cans were hard to read, like the ginger lime. It was really hard to read the... See, my camera can't even focus. It was really hard to read the, the writing on there, but I don't think there's caffeine in these other ones. There's like cherry lime, watermelon. So super cool. Thank you to Poppy for those um, sodas. And then I got this PR from this company that I actually, I almost ordered from them. I'm trying to think what happened. Anyway, I almost ordered from this company and then I actually ordered a similar product from a different company because they were based in Queens. <laughs> New York, which is where I moved from when I moved to Vegas. Uh, but anyway, this is a company called Fly by Jing, and they make these uh, Chinese like seasonings, like these hot seasonings. Um, they call them, they're like chili crisps. So they sent me Sichuan chili crisp, and they sent me two other kinds. This one, Chengdu Crunch. Here, let me get you some texture here. Oh my God, it's like so good over noodles. Oh. And then the third kind they sent is Zong sauce. And this doesn't seem to be very crunchy. It just seems to be like a sauce. 
which I would imagine would be good for like dipping or whatever. A sweet and savory hot sauce that you will find yourself putting on everything. Dumplings, grilled meats, soft cheeses, eggs, carbs. <laughs> uh, let's see what it says for the Chengdu Crunch. A savory, crunchy hot sauce that you will find yourself putting on everything. And then this one, the Sichuan Chili Crisp, vanilla ice cream. Have you guys ever put something spicy in vanilla ice cream? It is so, so good. There was um, a chain in New York, started in Queens, called Bear Burger. I think they've gone a little bit downhill. When I've gone back to New York to visit, I've gone to the Bear Burger on LaGuardia, down in the village. And it's, n it's not as good as it was when I left, but anyway, um, they used to do, a wait, am I thinking of the right? Yeah, yeah, it was Bear Burger. They used to do a hot vanilla milkshake. And it was a vanilla milkshake and they put Mike's Hot Honey in there. So like the cold and the hot, oh my God, it was so good. So just, I couldn't recommend enough. Maybe get some of this to put on, <laughs> to put on your vanilla ice cream because yes. Okay, so vanilla ice cream, fried eggs, vegetables, meat, carbs. Thank you, Fly by Jing. So amazing. I'm just so like pleasantly surprised to be getting um, this sort of unusual PR for me. It's so awesome. Thank you so much. I did also get some fashion PR in. I guess this is going to be the day of unusual PR because I don't usually get fashion PR either. And I have a really, really special one. This is a handbag from France that I am very excited to open with you guys. I, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll tell you all about it when I open it. I got a box from Madewell, and then, actually I opened this up already, so let me show you. I got a couple of pairs of shoes from Rothy's. So Rothy's is a brand that I came across on Instagram, of course. I thought their shoes were, you know, super cute, but more importantly, their company is all about sustainability. So I believe they use like recycled materials. They have like a special way of producing things. So it says here that their vision is to use twice recycled materials in new products. I just think that's really cool. They have a first of its kind factory. Um, they use like plastic bottles and marine plastic. So anyway, they sent over a pair of these ballet flats. <laughs> You know, ballet flats are like so in this season. Well, they've been in for a while now. I'm sorry, there's like a an insert in here. Aren't these cute? Black, they have like a little sporty cobalt blue. I'm, I swear, I'm seeing cobalt blue everywhere now. This little sporty cobalt blue on the top there. Ooh, they're really comfortable. I will show them to you on my feet a little bit later. I have on running socks. <laughs> which are not thick socks. They're just really, really ugly. I don't want to model them with these socks on because it's just not cute. But anyway, these are really comfortable and adorable. They have like a soft sole. So that's one pair that they sent over. The second pair is a pair of slip-ons, which you guys know, this is like, <laughs> I think my favorite shoe profile Look at that, what is the actual model name? So these are the Casual Clog Antique Herringbone. So there's like a little bit of a herringbone pattern there. Now these I can model for you because I feel like it's okay that I have really ugly socks on. So these I have in a size eight. Oh my gosh, they're right next to my Jenny <laughs> I'm wearing my Jenny Kane clogs. <laughs> yes, I have a thing for clogs. I should show you my clog collection. They have like a little bit of a molded sole like Birkenstock, but not as, um, I don't know, not as severe as Birkenstocks. I don't know if you can see them because all the, it's way down at the top. I don't think you can see them, um, but this is what the sole looks like. So a little bit of traction, um, really, really comfortable. And I think they have a bunch of different um, like colors in this. Maybe you can see a little bit of like the molded sole there. Yeah, definitely not as much as uh, Birkenstocks, but a little bit there. Oh, they have that cobalt blue. I guess that's their thing. Put a little cobalt blue there. Oh my gosh, so cute. I do think that these run a little bit big. Um, I think like these ballet flats where I have a size nine, I'm definitely gonna have to wear them with socks, but these are a size eight and my foot seemed to like fit in them pretty well. But yeah, the size nine is like a little bit big. So I'm generally like an eight and a half, nine, 
So I would definitely get like an eight in Rothy's. Oh yeah, it's right here in their box. Crafted with recycled materials, built in our sustainable factory, better by design. And these are made in China. Wonderful. Thank you so, so much Rothy's for sending these shoes over. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these. A lot of wear. Good morning, Butters. Do you wanna show everyone your pretty necklace? Hmm? It's like a little orange flower. Someone got groomed yesterday, so they get a little flower. Uh, I, okay, all right, I'm about to feed her breakfast, so she's antsy. Good morning, everyone. I just, um, well, I just blew my nose. <laughs> the allergies are still kicking, um, but I just finished breakfast, my coffee. I need to go upstairs and put my contacts in and uh, feed and walk butters but I just had to show you guys something because I'm so proud of myself. The countertop in my laundry room is totally cleared. I think I mentioned in my tidying up video that I just am constantly just moving clothing from the washer to the dryer, from the dryer to the countertop. At best they get folded, but that's it. And then I'll just walk into the laundry room and grab what I need and leave and I've just been doing this like vicious cycle. So the other day, my husband and I were like, that's it. <laughs> we moved all the clothing into our closet and actually put it away. Huge step for me, huge, huge step. I love seeing, I have not seen this countertop just empty like this. I have some of those Grove Co stuff here, um, but just empty of clothing, just clean. I have not seen this in months, it looks, fantastic. I just have to remember. <laughs> I just have to remember this is what it looks like and keep it this way. So I just wanted to show you guys because I was so proud of myself. Oh, and I like refolded all of my towels in here because it was all crazy, like different sizes, all folded differently. And that makes me nuts because I, I can't find anything. It looks terrible. But now everything is so pleasantly folded. <laughs> it's the little things. So uh, when I come back from uh, walking butters, I bought a Christmas present for myself. I didn't think it was coming until like the beginning of December, basically after Thanksgiving. And it arrived, it arrived early. So I'm gonna be spending most of the day setting it up. Can't really tell from here what it is, but I had to get myself an iMac. Well, had is a very strong word. I've been working off of a MacBook Air that I got earlier this year. I thought, you know, all I do is edit my videos and I work in Photoshop for, you know, pictures and stuff in Lightroom. <clears throat> Occasionally I use Illustrator, but not even that much anymore. And that's pretty much it. Those are my, I would say, resource heavy apps. And my MacBook Air is just not big enough. It's not big enough. So. I thought to myself, well, do I get a bigger laptop? And I just thought, you know, for the money, you just get a lot more for your money if you get a desktop. And I'll use my MacBook Air when I need to, like when I travel or whatever, I'm gonna figure out how I can kind of share files, among, you know, just amongst myself. I don't think it's that difficult. So I decided to get an iMac. They just came out with a new version and I thought, great, great time. Um, and a little Christmas present to myself. I usually try and get myself like a, every year, like a big piece of equipment, like a camera or something, or a lens or something that I need to kind of like bump up my, my work, <laughs> my workflow, kind of ease it up a little bit. So this year, well, I got the MacBook Air and now it's the iMac. It is really an, like an endless cycle of equipment that needs to be purchased when you do YouTube. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to set up a new computer. It's always nice to have like a fresh, new, clean desktop. <laughs> because my desktop definitely is not clean. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed and walk butters now and then come home and start setting that up.
I am going to try these new classic clogs that Rothy's sent to me on my walk this morning with butters. So I showed these to you guys in this vlog, but yesterday. Oh, they're so cute. And they're so comfy. The inside, this material on the inside is like the softest like suede material I think I've ever felt. Much softer than Birkenstocks. I love my Birks, but there is a very long, I feel like break in time for Birkenstocks until they like really feel like they've molded to your foot. Like that bottom cork sole that they use can be very hard feeling in the beginning. And then like, as you wear them, you know, like the, the heat of your foot will kind of start to soften them up and then eventually they'll kind of mold to the bottom of your feet. But it, it really takes a while. It takes a lot of walking in them. But I remember I brought a pair to Morocco. They were like hard feeling in the beginning. And I thought, oof, this is either gonna be great, like I'll break them in in Morocco, or this is gonna be a nightmare and they're just gonna remain uncomfortable. But after like a full day of walking around, they were so comfortable and I could be on my feet for a really long time. They really were great for that as well. Yeah, so they're fantastic for that, but I, God, do I appreciate shoes that are really comfortable from the outset, <laughs> let me tell you. These and the Jenny Canes. The Jenny Canes even have like that little bit of like, um, like cushion to them, like almost like a foam underneath that kind of cork bottom and they don't have any molding. Um, the Jenny Kane ones are just kind of like flat. There's like a little bit of an arch, but there's no like toe ridge or whatever. And in these, there's like a little bit of foot molding, not as much as the Birkenstocks. Hi, baby. You ready for your walk? Okay, let's check the temperature. It's 57, so not too horrible. Do you want like your light vest or something? Such a Vegas dog. She's like totally fine when it's 110 outside but anything below like 65, she's just, yeah, she acts like it's zero degrees outside. I'll put the little vest on her. Good morning, friends. It is the next day, and as I suspected, setting up my new iMac took all day yesterday, and then once it was ready, I had to uh, click and edit something. <laughs> so that's all I did for the rest of yesterday, but it's really, really nice to have a big desktop to sit at, like a big monitor that's actually like at my head height. <laughs> so it's been nice. I'm not someone who generally likes a big monitor, uh, you know, when I was younger, I always picked like, you know, when I worked in corporate America and you had a couple options of, you know, laptops or whatever, and people would get a laptop, they'd get, you know, the external monitor as big as they could. And I always just worked off of my laptop. I didn't ever really like moving my head to be able to see the whole screen. I loved being able to see like everything, you know, right in front of me. And I do still enjoy that, but, <laughs> Because I'm getting older, my eyesight is just shot these days. I really like having the big screen. So yeah, it was great. It was great working on it. I felt like, um, I felt like my eyes had like less fatigue by the end of the day um, working on like a big screen. I think it's like a 24 inch screen. Anyway, I'm glad that's over or pretty much over. I still have my MacBook Air that I need to figure out how to like go between the two, um, but I'll figure that out. So I think at the beginning of this vlog, I mentioned that I had a couple of things that I wanted to show you. And so I got a box from Madewell. I don't even know what's in there. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I did also get um, a handbag sent to me from a French company, a Parisian company, uh, that I'm so, so excited to show you guys. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, oh, actually, let me show you um, my outfit today. So this is just an old H&M shirt that I've worn a gazillion times for you guys, but I thought it would look cute with my Loewe jeans. And I put on my Gucci sneakers that have a little bit of orange in the laces. So I thought that was 
a cute kind of like matching situation. So these Loewe jeans, I can't decide if I need to get them shortened. They're fine with these sneakers because these sneakers are very, very chunky uh, and they have a very thick sole. And so they like hang down just right. But if I wear anything with a more slender profile, I think that the jeans are gonna drag. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess I could just cut off a little bit, but I really love the way they look with these Gucci sneakers. Maybe I just wear them with <laughs> these Gucci sneakers or with really like chunky, chunky shoes. But anyway, loving these jeans, they're super comfortable. And I'm kind of like in the midst of breaking them in and I can feel them like getting softer as the day goes on. Uh, anyway, let's open up this Madewell box. I'm so curious to see what's in here. All right, let's see what is in here. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Okay, first of all, this is the first thing that I saw. A little handbag. Look how cute that is. Oh, Madewell. That's so cute. Look. So not, I don't, Why do I think this looks very British? Is it the kind of... Uh, leather, it's like this kind of like waxy leather. I don't, why do I associate that with like British handbags or handbags that I've seen people wear in London? I don't know. Anyway, that's so cute. And then, oh my gosh, they're so big on vests. They sent over this leather vest, uh, size 10. And what's the material here? This is lamb leather. Wow, it is really, really soft. How beautiful. Let's see if this fits. Let me take my microphone off here. And this shirt is quite bulky, but we'll see if it fits over it. And J. Crew sent me that like tuxedo style vest, which just fits. I'm gonna have to wear something kind of bodycon and tight underneath that one. Oh, it fits. Well, it fits over this shirt, which means it'll fit over pretty much anything. Oh, nice. I don't know if I don't wear vests often. I don't know if the vest thing is for me. I just have to figure out how to wear, maybe underneath a blazer. And I think this button's up high enough that maybe I don't have to wear anything, anything underneath. I will have to play around with it. Sorry, my microphone is far away now. Um, I'll have to play around with it, but it does fit. And I think it would look kind of nice like underneath a blazer, kind of all by itself. All right, wow, Madewell, thank you for that. Then, what is this? Oh, it's a skirt. I was like, are these shorts? <laughs> it's a skirt. Very schoolgirl like, very cute. It is like a Glen plaid with blue in there. Blue and actually blue and like a cranberry color. Very pretty. And what size did they send? This is a size 12. And it's wool poly viscose elastin blend. Every time I see elastin, I'm like, does it stretch? There's no stretch to this. Okay. And then they sent, ooh, this is soft. This feels like Tencel. Um, oh, these cute, like, wide leg pants. Oh, I love it. They have these tabs at the waist. That's super cute. They have button down welt pockets on the back. Lovely. And what is this they sent over size 12 and it is lyocell cotton and linen. So it's the lyocell that gives it that kind of like slick feel, smooth, smooth, soft feel. That's so nice. I can't wait to like steam these up and, and wear them. And last but not least, oh my God, this is so Michelle, <laughs> a gray knit pullover. Oh, I love it, size large. And this is, let's see, acrylic, polyamide, and alpaca. Kind of an even split between those. So lovely. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Madewell. It's so sweet. Oh, they have a card in here. Excited to send you some pieces we are currently coveting. We hope you love as much as we do. Wow, thank you so much, Madewell. Very, very much appreciated. Okay, and now for what I've been dying to show you. So this is a handbag that is uh, from France. This is the name of the brand. This is the dust bag, Atelier August. And it came beautifully packaged in some bubble wrap, and some protective like styrofoam sheeting. And here's maybe a clear visual of the name. And they wrote to me so I was able to pick out the bag that I wanted. And it is such a dream. Look 
at this handbag. Is this not absolutely gorgeous? And I think this is just so perfect for the quiet luxury moment that we're having. And I just think it's so great to like discover a new brand and like have different options. The price point for these handbags is lower than like typical quiet luxury brands, let's just say. And you're getting wonderful quality. So I just love this simple gold clasp. It has their name engraved in there and then they've got the name on the back. So this is like a magnetic closure. So nice. Let me get all this stuffing out. And they have a long strap here. So the strap on this bag is long enough that I can wear it crossbody. And it's still, there's more adjustments. Hold on, let me show you. You've got these knobs here where you can move them up and down, all three. So this happens to be the perfect length for me to wear this crossbody. And of course, I mean, let me just state the obvious. This is so similar to the Celine. Is it the box bag? Yeah, the Celine box bag. <laughs> I had a brain fart. The Celine box bag from when Phoebe Philo was there. It's just such a beautiful option. You guys know how much I love my Celine Triumph bag. So let me show you the uh, interior of the bag. So it is lined in a cotton canvas. There's a cotton canvas pocket. Um, sorry. <laughs> There's a cotton canvas pocket along the back. There's a leather patch pocket on the front side. I still have some paper in there. And it's just lined in this beautiful contrasting cotton uh, canvas, which I really, really love. It keeps the bag lighter. Um, when bags are lined with leather, it really adds a lot of weight. So this keeps it lighter. I do like that contrast color. It makes it a lot easier to find stuff in there. Like I said, the Celine Triumph bag, it's very similar to this exterior wise. Interior, it has all those pockets. This is nice if you want to throw something bigger in. You're not like forced to put it into like one of those other bags. Actually, let me pull out the Celine Triumph bag so we can compare sizes. Okay, so I've got my Celine Triumph. So I have the classique size, which is I think the largest size they have in this style. They have like a teen bag, which is a little bit more narrow, and then they have one that's like uh, a little flatter. I don't know what they call that one. Anyway, now they've just come out with like a college one, which is a little bit flatter, but it's got like uh, separation inside. Anyway, let's take a look. I think the Atelier August one is a little bit taller. Yeah, it's a little bit taller. And I think it's the same width. Yeah, it's the same width, a little bit taller. So proportionately, this one's gonna look a little uh, more square. And then here's a comparison of the depth of the bag. So anyway, I never uh, was able to pick up a Celine box bag when they were out. And so I'm, so I'm so in love with this bag. I just think it's so classic. I think it's gonna go with everything. I'm so glad that I got this uh, like rich kind of like luggage brown color. I think it's, it's so great. I think it's like the perfect like day to night bag. And they definitely have different sizes on their site. Anyway, I'll link to them down below. So I was just so excited when I discovered this brand because they're just absolutely gorgeous. These bags are just made so, so beautifully. Just a close up of some of the stitching there. And then like I said, this is like a magnetized front. So really easy in out. Isn't that just beautiful? Let's a quick look at the back here and the bottom. And let's see, inside it says, designed in Paris, made in Italy. So I really look forward to using this bag. In fact, I'm going to tra transfer all my stuff into this bag and use it. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. A big thank you to Current Body, of course, for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check down below in my description box for all the wonderful discount information that Current Body is uh, passing along to you guys. It's Black Friday, Cyber Monday. It is here. It is here. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next vlog.